Ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished uh, panelists and uh, guests and friends, uh, it is a great pleasure to welcome you all here uh, in this uh, very special occasion where for the first time ever, no, kidding, we are thinking about uh, the future of the internet in Israel. Um, with uh, your permission, I'm going to delve into a short introduction that is going to sort of set the scene for this uh, discussion. We have uh, a lot of expectations here, and I know some of the people have actually prepared some notes uh, for us to hear later. Um, so after I will do a very short opening, uh, we will have uh, about 10 minutes from our distinguished uh, experts, and their names are listed here. And at the end, we will have a discussion. For those who would like to um, give a statement or uh, share an insight, we have a microphone here. The microphone is located exactly at the right place for the video to capture them. So if you come to the podium, it means that you will be video. Um, so I have obviously used the Wikipedia to define what is tipping point. And uh, fortunately, there are many, many, many definitions to uh, a tipping point. Uh, I've uh, selected a few of them. First of all, the famous book, Tipping Point. And the famous example of why Hush Puppies as a brand of shoes became so popular. And it's a fascinating story about how ideas become extremely interesting. Um, in physics, a tipping point is just a little small thing that you add into uh, 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 a pendulum or in this situation, and suddenly everything changes. Uh, economy, we have many, many situations where suddenly something happened and uh, we see a change in the market. Um, so when it comes to tipping point for us in the Israeli internet, uh, we are looking essentially for two things. We are looking for these ideas that would serve as a tipping point and we are also in this process looking for the questions that will allow us to analyze and decide uh, when a particular project is a good project for us to deal with. So I'm just going to give you a quick list of, of the examples that we have gathered in the last three weeks. Uh, this is by no means the best examples. Uh, this, uh, I've only listed them here because I think they uh, allow us to jumpstart the discussion. Uh, and it's going to be a quick review of these ideas. Uh, and I'm sure uh, you will have even more ideas later. So. Um, First idea is one day at home. It's basically the idea that we will, uh, the Internet Association will push for uh, establishing a method where everybody can stay at home once a week and work from home. So the question that stems from that, is that a, really an Internet project or is it something else and whether should we actually deal with that? Um, a second project, and I've already seen two or three people talking to me about this, they seem to be uh, a straightforward solution, is connect 100 school at a speed of 100 uh, megabits per second. Um, today, average speed is about 2.5 per school, which is, of course, ridiculous. It's, uh, many people have more in, at home. Uh, this is a simple uh, project. I've already seen few uh, people from uh, several organizations that can actually take charge of establishing which schools, so that would be a nice thing to start with. Uh, another, uh, in contrast to the simplicity of number two, the complexity of number three is just uh, could be perplexing. We're talking about uh, optical, optic, open uh, medical record where we can actually take the data from our HMO, Health Medical Organization, Maccabi or Chirote Briut, and take it out uh, and move to another one. That would be uh, a very complicated thing. Um, every right, or kol zchut in Hebrew, is actually a product or a service or a website that already exists. It basically lists all the rights of all the citizens. It's a, it's a wiki-like uh, system where volunteers essentially go to the various government and uh, municipal sites and collect all the rights of uh, individuals, of citizens, and put them in one place. And it's interesting because some of the people that I've interviewed, actually specifically one person, actually said that they really need that. And that would be a great thing. And they actually gave the name, Kol Zchut, every right, to the site, simply not knowing that that thing already existed. So there's a little bit of a tension here between what's out there. Uh, GTFS is a, a Google-initiated uh, standard to uh, define traffic data. 
It will allow all kinds of open source software to uh, share that. Anti-pirating, you know, stopping people from copying. I'm not sure it's so popular. Um, basic free internet. Uh, again, it has a lot of effects on markets. Cloud in Israel, uh, we do not have yet in Israel a big installation of a, a cloud like Amazon or company like that. And of course, from a competitive point of view, it becomes a, a real problem. Uh, number nine is, is becoming our favorite. It's what we call real measurement of the internet. Apparently, lots of companies are offering us um, lots of uh, megabits, but of course, not all megabits are created equal. Some of them do not work and uh, uh, creates a little bit of a problem. And of course, we are looking for um, your ideas. So with this list, I want to summarize. We're essentially looking for two things in this event and the um, related things that we are doing around this. We're looking for ideas. And we're looking for questions how to think about ideas, how to choose them, and how to go about them. So this is really a very distinguished and, and specific